It is now crunch time for the Corsair Pro Series, for after today, there will only be two races left until the chase, where ten drivers will battle it out for seven races to see who will become victorious. On the pole, we have Stephen Wallace Jr., two is outside, it is Tyler Fink, third is Luigi. fourth is Brett Serra, rounding out the top five is Joey Cobra. First of the qualifying order, on the left side of the screen, as the pace car goes in, Getting set for 34 laps around Texas Motor Speedway. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're racing in Texas. A good restart for the 47 is going to put him ahead of the 42 and 14 already. As he's already got a two car length gap over them. Ninety-eight, possibly looking to take over second. That's good for Stephen Wallace Jr. as he's going to lead the first lap by a good margin over the rest. Well, Luigi took the lower line. Forty-seven went way wide. Although Luigi is going to get moved up the racetrack for second place by Joey Cobra as he tries to make a move towards the front and try and catch the 47 of Stephen Wallace Jr. As three turns one and two they go. That was a great corner for Cobra. He put it right on the groove and he'll be to the inside down the back stretch and they're wrecking in the back. That's Smith and they come back up. It's a big time crash and it's a few cars in the outside wall. One of them is points leader Evan Hunter. And he has terminal damage on the 11 Joe Gibbs Toyota. So the first caution out on lap number four involves points leader Evan Hunter. And here's Jose Mills and 78 of Patrick Smith, they were going four wide, Jose Mills, 78 four wide with the 14 and 42 on the outside, it's not going to work, they head towards the inside wall, they hit it hard, they come back up the racetrack, and right into Evan Hunter and the 11 car. So let's see this from his point of view, as he gets clobbered by the 78, coming back up the racetrack, there they are, that's a hard hit, 16 up on two wheels there, and Oskin involved as well, not having a good season to try and defend his championship with, here it is again, there they are up ahead, That's the all-star race winner, Eli Bright, involved with this one. As he tries to make his move up into the points. Although he's losing ground now to this accident and won at uh, Chicagoland. Although, who didn't wreck at Chicagoland? So in front it was Joey Cobra to lead them back to the line. Stephen Wallace Jr. was second, Brett here was third. Teammate Tyler Fink was fourth and... Fifth was Jay Jefferson trying to win his home state. It'll be Jose Mills starting on the inside when they come to the green flag is here we go. It's back out. Texas. 22, 78, 11, and 36 are all out of the race. Now that's going to be a big hit for Hunter in the points. He's ahead of 10th by 188, so I wouldn't be too worried of him being knocked out of the chase, but that's definitely going to cost him the regular season championship if he has this kind of run again at Hattiesburg and uh, Daytona. But right now, it's Stephen Wallace Jr. to the lead, with help from Tyler Fink in the 14. Fink might look to the inside of him. Yes, he will. As to the inside goes the 14 car. 
I mean, we talk about bad news for Evan Hunter, Christian Russell running inside the top 10. Might have just gotten shuffled to the outside by Jay Jefferson, but the shuffle isn't too strong at Texas. You don't fall all the way to the back and then make it way up front. In fact, the pack has been split. I believe that be by the lap car. I don't see any other reason unless someone had an issue. We've got a battle for the lead brewing up. It's Fink and Stephen Wallace Jr. Sierra helping Jefferson. And Fink is going to clear and lead that time. Jefferson goes to the bottom. I think it's a way better corner in one, but a worse corner in two. And that's going to put Jefferson beside the 14 car for the lead down the back straightaway. The 47 high that time. So he's losing positions. Sierra's going to look to the inside of Jefferson. And Jefferson misses up big time that time. As they go three wide for the lead, it's Rob Evans down on the bottom with help from Ever Minion, Cobra, and Russell. Now it's a close call once again for Jefferson as he nearly goes down off the wall into Sierra. As the Bill Never Minion takes the lead, but he tries to block down low on Cobra. And that's a successful block right there. So he does a good job keeping the 98 at bay. He's still got to deal with the 12. We got a good corner that time. Uh, the outside. The inside still the preferred lane. At Texas. As he continues to battle side by side. Evans is definitely going to falter this time. Or not. He gets a good run off the corner. On the outside, and now Cobra, he's had enough, he's had enough of waiting, and now he's going to take it three wide for the lead. And they touch for third. Down the front stretch. And it's Cobra who leads the way. He goes wide that time, leaving room for Wallace Jr. down to the bottom. And they're four wide there. That's close. They're making contact. Still four wide. They'll be in the front stretch. Four, no, they shuffled it down to three wide. They still make contact. That's Russell in the wall. But he avoids falling back. Wallace Jr. continues to lead. As it's getting tense here at Texas. And we're only hitting halfway. And they're, they're nearly going four wide again back there. And three wide, it barely works. That's a, basically an anomaly where the four wide situation shuffled back out. And that's the 29 in the wall back there. So now they're all chasing down Stephen Wallace Jr. Jefferson had a good corner that time. And Fink with a big run, and there's a, a 34 of right. So he's found his way up front. He was one of the guys off the pace earlier this race. So now it's the 47 being chased by the 48. As he sees him get slowly bigger in the rearview mirror. Question is, can he complete the pass without any help as most of the battling is going on back behind? Christian Rosser, who just hit the wall a few laps ago, is up front now. Well, not really. Is There's still a good four tenths between them and the leaders. And speaking of leaders, here comes Jay Jefferson trying to take the lead away from Gary, or 47, Stephen Wallace Jr., As they stay side by side, 
That's going to allow the rest of the pack to catch up. Here comes Russell. If Russell wins this race two in a row, then Hunter's definitely in trouble. Oh, 48 blows up. And he's somehow still running with them. Oh, there he goes into the inside wall. And he come back up the racetrack, and that's a heartbreak for Jay Jefferson to issue while leading. So now it is Christian Russell leading the race. Yes, the pack is now down to five. But we've seen people catch up if they've, if they've had enough uh, help, and these guys definitely have help. So I have no reason why they wouldn't be able to catch up. So now it's Russell leading, trying to go two in a row. But he's got Zydell behind, and there's the yellow. That's a wreck on the front stretch. Uh, Mohammed and Abdullah involved. That's Gary Barlow. They race it back. Christian Russell will lead them to the caution flag as it will be a late restart. Less than 10 laps to go. Barlow was one of the people involved. Let's check out what happened on lap 21. I think the 88 was the first to go around. Yes, he was. So let's see how it happened. Running with the 2 and the 15. Oh, he kind of ran him up the racetrack, and was that Joey Cora right there with an issue as well? We'll have to see. If not, he possibly just got tire up from the 39 and had to check up. And look at the 26. Narrowly avoid the spinning Mahomes and Abdallah, but the 43 wasn't too fortunate. So a hard wreck for Barlow and Zane Abdallah. But it's the 15 of Christian Russell, the leader. And he will lead them to a late race restart. With less than 10 laps remaining. As there's the one to go, we'll go green on lap number 27. There'll be eight laps to go. Russell, Zydell, Fink, Wallace Jr., and Sarah, your top five. As the pack is together again, here we go. Back green. It was a piston issue on the 48 that took him out. As once again, heartbreak. He was leading the race in his home, home track. As they go single file through turn and one and two and down the back stretch. First one to pull down, it's Zydell in the one. And Fink is going to be taken three wide by Wallace Jr. So Jr. trying to take back what he lost. He was dominating the race early before the 48 took it from him. And can he clear Fink? He does, so. There's a new second placement, and I think the 51 just got the wall again. Now here comes Wallace Jr. to the lead. Trying to side draft, and it will be the 47 that time. Steven Wallace Jr., your new leader. Sierra also trying to make his way up to third, trying to pass teammate Fink. But now Zydell might have something to say to Stephen Wallace Jr. is he's going to take the lead away in turns three and four. That's going to allow the rest of the pack to catch up if they get orderly, which it doesn't look like they're doing too much of. So Zydell clears once again. And the 14 is going to follow in behind with Russell approaching. He's going to try and take third away. 
Joe Jefferson is up front now. With just five coming to four laps to go. Can anyone run down Zydell? And if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be that 51, who is now trying to pass the 47. We got him loose in the corner, but couldn't quite stick it in there. There's now just three laps to go. The grat grew, but it was only by a hundredth. It was pretty clear that the 51 has the fastest car on the track right now. But he just can't get the job done with the 47. As Zydell continues to pull away, the gap now, let's see, it's at 126. So with two laps to go, and it, okay. it is Zydell leading still. Now the 51 is going to try again. For second, it's Russell against Wallace Jr. He's going to take it away. And it was these two at Chicagoland. Oh, that's the yellow. So whatever attempt that Russell would have made to uh, get the lead away, now it's all for naught. There is a huge accident on the front stretch. Reason heavy damage. Code Red is there. Halleck, he's up there in points. In fact, he's on the borderline. He's seventh in points, where it is a big battle with 11th through, all the way through sixth technically, and they're all within basically uh, 80 points of each other. So that's the race, the one that is the winner. It's code red. Heavily damaged. But the 47 actually got the 51 back. So I think they did race back to the line. So we'll have to see what happened. Friesen was one of them who went around as just parking on the back stretch, I guess. Racking up ahead, so let's see. That's a big epic sitting up here. So let's see who the first one to go around was. Oh, I think that's a dump by the two. Okay, let's see. So it's the 2 and the 29. Oh yeah, the 2 just dived it in there, dove it in there. And either that or the 29 might have gotten loose and went high. And they just all pile in. Narrow racetrack, Texas is. And the big one. Apparently on the final lap. As I don't think they took the white. I'm just gonna go over here. There we go. Yeah, so they did not take the white. Or the car is spinning at least. So it basically transitioned to the final lap. The leaders were already on it. So let's see this pass from the 47 to the 51. And it seemed like Russell had the much faster car. He would be the one to run down the one if they had faster, or if they had more laps. But it looked like he got a bad corner that time. The 47 was there to take advantage. 
Still a top three finish for Russell, his second in a row. So Zydell the winner. And Pink, Kyle Hunter, that's the rest of your top five. Jefferson, Sierra, Shepard, Thompson, and Gardner. I know your top 10. As the rest of the finishing results on the left side of the screen. On Jack was the last one on the lead lap. That's, uh, that's close for him. I don't think it is. So, like I said, there's, there's still two races left. For people to try and get better results. So this... Race here. Basically not the end of the world if they're wrecked. But we have some people who are close that were involved. They still have time to turn it around. Oh. So Russell just ran in back on the back of the uh 20, so post race altercation perhaps there. Don't know what it'd be for. I didn't really see the 20 all day. But yeah, that's it for race number 15. Just two left. Because we got a victory lane with the one as Idell. Thank you for watching the Corsair Pro Series. We'll see you next time.